السلام علیکم فرینڈس ویلکم ٹو اور چینل ٹاکس ایم ایم تو فرینڈ آج ہم رینل بیوپسی کے بارے میں سٹڈی کریں گے رینل بیوپسی کی انڈیکیشنز کیا ہیں کمپلیکیشنز کیا ہیں کانٹر انڈیکیشنز کیا ہیں پروسیجر کون سا یوز ہوتا ہے رینل بیوپسی کے دوران اینڈ وٹ آر دی انسٹرومنٹ یوز ان رینل بیوپسی تو فرسٹ آف آل آئی ول ڈیفائن یو وٹ از رینل بیوپسی رینل بیوپسی از ا پروسیجر یوز ٹو اوبٹین اے سیگمنٹ اف رینل ٹیشو Usually through a needle or in other surgical instrument. Renal biopsy is a procedure. Okay? In which we take a segment of the renal tissue ka, through a needle or in other surgical instrument. Ke Thikke, this is a small definition of renal biopsy. How do we move on, friends? So, types of renal biopsy? So, types of renal biopsy needles are وینس سلور مین بایوپسی نیڈل نمبر ون نمبر ٹو نیکر ہاسپیٹل بایوپسی نیڈل نمبر تھرڈ مین گینیز ایسپریشن بایوپسی نیڈل نمبر فور ایورسن ایسپریشن نیڈل اور نمبر فائف از سیوینال ٹروکٹ نیڈل اور دی موسٹ کامن نیڈل یوز ان ہاسپیٹل سیٹ اپ از سلور مین رینل بایوپسی نیڈل ناؤ اڈیز رینل بایوپسی گن وی آسو کارڈ ایس منوپٹی گن موسٹ کامن in renal biopsy is the biopsy necessary the most common question arises in our mind always judge the balance of risk versus benefits most nephrologists will agree that renal biopsy is more likely to change management in symptomatic kidney disease patients it can be useful for prognostic purposes as well as helping to direct or change treatment So guys, what are the indications of renal biopsy? So number one, significant proteinuria, that is more than one gram per day. Nephratic syndrome with two normal size non-obstructive kidneys and no obvious cause usually considering the diagnosis of glomerular or interstitial nephritis. Number second indication is acute kidney injury with two normal size non-obstructive kidneys with no obvious cause. or non-resolving clinical ATN, that is acute renal necrosis of more than 3 to 4 weeks. Number one indication is significant protein urea or nephrotic syndrome. Number second indication is acute kidney injury. Then chronic kidney disease with two normal size non-obstructive kidneys with no obvious cause. This is number third indication. CKD, number four indication is renal transplant dysfunction. Number five indication is systematic disease with renal dysfunction. These are the most common indications of renal biopsy. Then question is diabetes and renal biopsy. When to do biopsy in diabetic patient? When there is a microscopic hematuria in diabetic patient, when there is absence of retinopathy and neuropathy when there is onset of significant protein urea that is less than five years from diagnosis acute worsening of the renal function and systematic feature these are the most common indication of renal biopsy in diabetic patients biopsy biopsy in special situations what are those special situations where we do biopsy in periodic group may harm sedation use karte hain ketamine metazolam پرومیتھازین وغیرہ اور ایٹین گیج کی ہم گن یوز کرتے ہیں پریڈیوارٹک ایج گروپ کے اندر پرگنینسی میں انڈیکیشن کیا ہے بے آپسی کی سڈن ان ایکسپلین ڈیٹوریشن آف رینل فنکشن بیفور تھارٹی تو تھارٹو ویکس آف پی او جی اوکی دن دے اور دیر ایس سمٹومیٹک ان ایس بیفور تھارٹی تو تھارٹو ویکس آف پی او جی اور ایکٹیو یونری سیڈیمنٹس پروٹین جوریا اور بورڈلائن پیشنٹ رینل بیوپسی پرگنینسی سیف بیفور تھرٹی ویک آف پرگنینسی کی ٹھیک ہے نا رینل بیوپسی تھرٹی ویک سے پہلے اگر ہم کریں گے پرگنینٹ پیشنٹ کے اندر تو that is more safe okay transplanted kidney بیوپسی is performed from the transplanted kidneys to exclude rejection nephropathy drug toxicity or reactions of the disease that cause kidney failure for surveillance of hidden diseases involving the transplant kidney so called protocol renal biopsy 
undertaken at fixed intervals post transplantation can there be what are the contraindications there are absolute six contraindications and relative three so i'm going to explain you absolute contraindications the uncorrectable bleeding diathesis number one number two is uncontrollable severe hypertension that is 160 over 95 active renal or perirenal infection number four is skin infection at biopsy site or presence of solitary native kidney or renal neoplasm multiple cysts abscess or polynephritis these are the most absolute contraindications of renal biopsy what are relative contraindications that is certain anatomical abnormalities of kidneys for example whether vascular lesion number two medications that interfere with clotting this may warfarin or heparin pregnancy safe before 30 weeks or uncooperative patients some consider absolute contraindication prior to procedure procedure karne se pehle hum kuch in baaton ka khayal karna hoga humne informed consent is usually taken informed consent humne leni hogi arrangement will also be made to ensure that appropriate post biopsy care and supervision is in place theek ho gaya then the patient has the right to consent or decline the patient ka right hai wo apni consent uh, consent ko accept kare or decline kare theek ho gaya before biopsy work up for renal biopsy renal imaging ka apne karna hai blood pressure ko apne dekhna hai urine ka culture apne karna hai coagulation status apne patient ka dekhna hai renal biopsy karne se pehle theek ho gaya and says should be stopped 24 hours before procedure number 1 then for elective biopsy antiplatelet agents aspirin or clopidogrel should be stopped 7 days before the biopsy warfarin should ideally be stopped 7 days before the procedure and the patient converted to heparin if clinically indicated heparin including prophylactically and low molecular weight heparin should be stopped at at least 24 hour pre procedure okay heparin should be stopped at least 24 hour pre procedure ideally anticoagulation should be restarted for one week post biopsy if clinically indicated anticoagulations can be started after 24 hours but this should be delayed further if there is macroscopic hematuria or there is a drop in hemoglobin these are the most common these are most common workups you can do before biopsy biopsy gun 14 gauge guns gives greater number of globuli per core than 18 gauge core but the rates of adequate biopsy were similar large needle provided more tissue and globuli but this is associated with more pain 16 gauge needles are most commonly used as compound as compromised between the needle of the sufficient side of tissue and the need of the clinical safety. Okay, this is semi automatic biopsy gun, gun and needle combined. The different sizes of semi automatic biopsy gun. Biopsy sample is divided and sent off for light microscopy, immunofluorescence, and electronic microscopy. What is the procedure? Patient is in prone position with wedge or pillow below the abdomen. Light sedation, local anesthesia with 1 to 2 percent of lignocaine subcutaneous. Tab incision can be given to ease biopsy gun entry. Advance the biopsy gun when the capsule is reached. Instruct patient to take deep breath and fire the gun. Two to three goes can be taken from the lower pole of the left kidney and placed in 10 ml of normal saline and take them and taken to the laboratory. Press on wound for 2 to 5 minutes. You can check here. This is biopsy gun, this is kidney and this is a probe. In a biopsy typically performed by nephrologist or intervenist inter interventional radiologist. Post procedure Bed rest flat on back per hour is instructed. EP and pulse are monitored in the following ways. Every 15 minutes for 1 hour, then every 30 minutes for 1 hour, and every hour for 4 hours. 
for only for next remaining 24 hours if each voided urine sample in a clear specimen container CBC and ICT monitors 6 to 8 hours and 18 to 24 hours after biopsy. What are the complications of renal biopsy? Most common is bleeding, AV phase loss, aneurysm, biopsy of the other organs, the spleen, liver, pancreas, bowel, gallbladder, calicil, peritoneal fistula, dispersion of chest carcinoma and pH kidney and passage of the kidney by perigenal hematoma leading to a renin-mediated hypertension. Okay guys, this is all about renal biopsy. Take care. Do not forget to subscribe our channel.